Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I would like to talk to you about Amazon KDP and the possibility to create puzzle books for your Amazon KDP business. So what I have done, I have registered with PuzzleWiz a few days ago and now on the weekend I am found a bit of time to create one of these puzzle books. So this is actually the very first one I've ever done. And how it works is I'm using Canva to create a six by nine inch cover. And you need to make sure that it is six by nine inches. I mean, it depends on the size of your interior, but my interior will be six by nine inches. And so therefore, the way I do it, because I use um, KDP Flying Uploads, it's an automated upload tool. And what they require if your design you know, should look really good, then you want to have the same size of cover like your, um, like your interior design. If you upload manually to Amazon KDP, then you want to download the Amazon KDP book cover template from the Amazon KDP website, and then you know which dimensions you need to choose in Canva. But if you go the way via Flying Upload KDP, it needs to be the same dimension as your interior. So I've quickly created this um, yeah, book cover pretty much. You know, it's not the best one, but it is actually my first, my very first Sudoku that I'm going to upload to KDP. And what I've done, I've put in 320 puzzles, Sudoku puzzles. I've selected uh, the expert level. Well, there's obviously different, you know, from easy to from easy to hard. So this one is just for experts. And I decided to include solutions as well. I think that makes sense. Because if you don't have the solutions, you know, when you do it, you don't really 100% know if you got it right. And so I, as I said, I quickly created this, these um, Sudoku photos here, you can actually get in Canva under photos, and you just search for Sudoku and there are plenty of Sudoku photos which you can put on your book cover. So it took me a while to find that because I searched under elements where you normally find all the graphics. I normally don't use photos, but these ones for Sudoku are actually quite good. So I just crop them and put them in here and that looks quite good actually. Um, you know, there's much to improve here, but I think it's not too bad especially for the first one that works well. So I've just downloaded this actually onto my laptop so that I can use it as book cover. So now let's have a look at the interior. So I, you know, creating a Sudoku, I think either you do it manually, but that will take you ages or what I did because I'm quite short on time. I registered with a website called BookBolt, where well, this is BookBolt and I, talked about them in a previous video. Bookball, they, these are the guys who have done a lot to create interiors for KDP. So if you want to look for something in addition to just line notebook interiors, you might want to check them out because what they do is um, they have various products that you can actually put use as interiors. So, you know, they have planners, they have various interiors, various low content books. And I think it's worth checking it out. Maybe I'll do another video on that in a few days or so. But, you know, I haven't really had time until now to, to use it and to look into it because I focus so much on creating print on demand designs and, and making YouTube videos. But I really want to um, push the KDP business a bit more because with all my print on demand designs that I just upload to KDP with a light note note on that on, sorry, online notebook covers, I make quite a few sales. So I thought, look, why not doing something a bit more complex as interior and then see what's happening. This is what I wanted to do with BookBolt, but I started actually with the puzzles. So they have a website and if you get the pro version of BookBolt, then you can get PuzzleWiz as well. So PuzzleWiz is a different website, but you get it, you get access to it if you sign up for the BookBolt pro membership. And this one offers various, um, yeah, puzzles. So you can create interiors for Sudokus, crossword puzzles, word search, cryptogram, work, word scramble, missing vowel, 
maze, and I don't even know what all of this is, but these are all different kinds of puzzles, and they also have tutorials on their website with videos, so it's pretty good, um, pretty well explained, so you don't really need to um, spend a lot of time to understand how it works. They actually tell you how it works. And what you can then do, for example, with Sudoku, you um, select bleed or no bleed, depending on what you want. I, as I said, I go ahead with six by nine inches. Then paging style, I selected single sided, but you need to bear in mind if you do single sided and you want to maximize the number of um, Sudokus you can put into the book. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to create 80 Sudoku pages. So if it's single sided, you will have 160 pages just for the Sudokus because one of them is always blank. So 160 pages plus then if you want to um, select it hard, if you want to include the solutions as well, you'll have 320 pages. So what you need to bear in mind that the printing cost then will be much higher as well with the, all those pages. So you just need to try a little bit and then this is all that you need to do. I think I select another font here and they give you the example here as well, how it looks. And when you've selected all of that, it will create, every time you do this, it will create a completely new Sudoku for you. I think this is all happening based on algorithms which are running in the background. And what you can see here now, it says your document is being processed. So apparently it's now working on it. And then um, it will refresh the page when it's ready. Okay, so as you can see here, they prepared this document now and I can download it and then I will save it. We can have a quick look at it before I download it and before I upload it into the KDP upload software by Flying Upload. So this is the file. As you can see, there are four Sudokus on each page. I've got page numbers here, which is really good. Um, then the next page is always blank. So every second page is blank, which is what I selected. You can have it differently as well. And you can also select the size of these Sudokus. So I selected nine by nine. Or th no, yeah, nine. What did I select? One second. Yeah, nine by nine. You can also get 16 by 16. And um, yeah, I've got solutions as well. So this is all really good in total 321 pages. So I'm going to download this now and then I'm going to open the KDP upload software. Okay, so we're in KDP flying upload now. This is the flying upload software dashboard mainly where I have pulled in the, um, the design. I've selected a background color. I could select any other background color as well which I can do here so I can change the cover color to just assuming I would want to have a red background, but that doesn't look very good, I think. So I wanted to do blue. And the other thing that you can change is the text here, which I'll show you in a minute, but black is totally fine. So I selected, so I added a title, added a subtitle here, added a description. And this is, uh, this supports HTML. So I think Amazon KDP, they support HTML so that you can add the um, the bullet points here, for example. Then I added some keywords, Sudoku for experts, it should say, Sudoku with solutions, gift idea, and so on. These are the KDP categories that you can find if you upload manually to KDP as well. So I selected Sudoku and activity books, just put an author brand name in and I selected the Sudoku PDF. So this is the PDF which I just showed you. I downloaded it and then in the settings of the Flying Upload KDP tool, you can save this PDF file and then you can um, select it here. Because what I've got as well, I also created a medium one, an easy one, and then a journal which I use and I've got a few coloring books here as well. I'll select with white paper, no bleed, glossy finish, and the other important thing is that you have to select your or add your prices here for all the marketplaces. So let me change them all to 890. And obviously on Amazon US, that would, this would be US dollars. For UK, this would be British pounds. 
and for the other ones it would be Europe, uh, Euro. And for Canada, of course, that would need to be a bit higher. So maybe 11.90. Honestly, I don't know what's going on with Japan. I've got no idea. So I'll just leave it. Um, what I'll then do, I can see how it will look if I click on example here, which will give me a good overview of how it would eventually look when it's uploaded to KDP. So this is how it looks. Don't be surprised that there's a gap around here. Um, the reason for that is that there is a, this is the area which will be cut anyway. So it will look good in the end. And this is the text color, which you can change as well here, where it just says what I put in for the title. So now I'm happy with that and I'm going to upload this now. This is how it works. It's very easy and, you know, with just one, you can obviously do it manually. But if you just say you create 10 or 20 Sudokus and it doesn't really take long, if you have one layout template and then you always change it a little bit and you have something like the Puzzle Wiz website where you can just create unlimited Sudokus, as many as you want. And, you know, but if you do that, you can easily create 20, 30 Sudokus per day. If you really want to, obviously it takes, <laughs> it still takes a bit of time, but just assuming you would do it or manually, it would just take so much time. I wouldn't want to do it. So I'm happy with that. All I do then is go back, upload, and I'm going to do the upload in a minute. Um, but let me finish the video first and then I'm going to upload, but this is how I'll do it. I have to select this, press start. So I hope this video was useful. Um, if you like the video, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.